Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields in a world record we do not like to see an all-time record for how long a system has survived. This is for anywhere on the earth. Uh, this is Freddie. This is a cyclone. Again, it's a severe uh, kind of tropical storm, if you will, at this point, working its way through the Mozambique Channel. Again, today is day 32. Yesterday was 31, which tied Hurricane and eventually Typhoon John back in 1994 for the longest lasting tropical cyclone on earth. Today's 32 and the issue with this is it's bad news to pass along. I always like to pass along good news, but this one not good news that this may be sitting out there for days and days. We are thinking of our friends in this region over toward Mozambique with again the onshore flow generally on the south side moving in circulation clockwise in the southern uh, uh, hemisphere. There's Madagascar again the forecast track taking it in winds right now with the live data coming in. 70 miles per hour, that's roughly 115, upwards of 120 kilometers an hour. And this is just sitting there. Let me show you the winds and then what happens next with this. And then I'll dive into that Caribbean forecast. Uh, zooming down with that wind field and you see the winds right in the core of this. Roughly, that's about 74 miles per hour. So that again is about 120 kilometers an hour. A very well-defined cyclone. This again, the longest lasting starting near Indonesia, made its trek as one of the strongest systems in the Indian Ocean, working its way through Madagascar, back to Madagascar, impacting Zimbabwe, South uh, Africa, and Mozambique multiple times. Now, the issue is this may just kind of sit there. Let me get into just kind of, I'll put this into motion, a feel of what's going to happen with this system over the next few days. Let me roll this forward, and you see it just sitting there for days and days, slowly moving. So it is not just a record system. It is going to blow away the record, still intact for several days out. We could be dealing with this into next week. This could top 40 days, the potential of that. Such a slow mover. Some of the models want to keep it over the Mozambique channel longer. Some want to bring it in and hopefully have it fizzle out. Either way, some high impact central Mozambique for a lot of wind, a lot of rain with this system, and the potential of a slow mover over time. Four, five, six days from now, it may still be sitting there. And again, if it moves slower over the Mozambique channel, it could last another five to 10 days. Hopefully, it fizzles out over uh, interior sections, but the model showing some sort of circulation for days and days to come. We're thinking of our friends there. I will keep you posted on this right now, though. I want to dive back into the Caribbean, some big fronts headed in, and talk about hurricanes. Some of us had some rain yesterday. Jamaica, there was a point on this page where, uh, on this channel, where the comments lit up and I knew it was raining. Uh, I could tell. We were excited about that. Some spots over toward uh, Manchester as we worked our way into Jamaica. We had a few showers yesterday. Slight chance today. Best chance southern tier. Old front Puerto Rico. British Virgin Islands passing shower. Antigua and Barbuda. Anguilla and may get one or two. St. Kitts and uh, Nevis. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba. We could see a few. And we had some showers as well. Comments were lighting up in parts of the Bahamas as yesterday with some welcome news getting some rain pulling forward rain chance still not too terribly high today and tomorrow so what I want to do is look ahead for you again into next week as we watch the fronts tomorrow overall it's actually going to be drier Colombia Venezuela Costa Rica Panama hit or miss shower Guyana Suriname seeing some of those scattered showers tomorrow but let's zoom ahead all right, let's get into next week. I mentioned Tuesday and Wednesday, watching a front coming down from the United States, Bay of Campeche, better chance of rain, Mexico, swinging back toward parts of Cuba and the Bahamas. Look at that, my friends in the Bahamas, down through the Turks and Caicos. I hope this spills over a couple showers or Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Belize, and Honduras because we need it. It'll be confined mainly to our northern and western zones, but at least by next week, the middle of next week, I've been talking about this for really uh, several weeks now, that mid-March would be a little wetter, and there it is, that forecast holding true. Not as much, my friends, over towards St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Aruba, but northern sections, western zones next week at least that chance of rain will be getting higher seas overall nothing too uh, crazy out there it's actually been generally settled for the most part in comparison again we have those higher seas near Colombia Panama about a week ago things aren't looking bad one to two meters for the uh, most part 
course, the Atlantic waters are choppier. Now, this is kind of a crazy map that I'm showing you here. I'm showing this for a reason because behind the scenes, I've been putting together a hurricane forecast for you for the upcoming season. And I go over a lot of maps that look like this. And one thing I've been seeing here warmer water the last couple days over the last seven days, but more so over the last long term in the Eastern Pacific. I always mention on this channel how things are tied together globally, and that's why I like to sometimes show you big pictures. This is telling me we're gonna get into an El Nino phase, which may keep some of the numbers down as far as the amount of storms for the hurricane season, but the water temperatures have been very impressive in the wrong sense of the term, so that could, on the flip side, keep the numbers up. Point being, we're transitioning to an El Nino. I'm gonna break that down, share this channel for sure. I'm gonna get into that complete hurricane forecast uh, just a few days away. I'm still looking at some of that new data that's coming in and putting together my forecast for you. Today, Antigua and Barbuda, partly cloudy, breezy, passing shower, 10% chance. So one or two around. I showed you that old front winds west at 24 kilometers an hour, 28 degrees Celsius, 28. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, passing shower, rain chance about 30%. So you may get one or two showers over toward Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, same thing. Rain chance pretty limited though, a 20% chance wind Winds east at 24, 28 degrees Celsius, 83 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Jamaica, partly cloudy like yesterday. I mentioned yesterday the rain chance will be a little higher, and some of us did get a few showers. No, definitely not enough, but there were a few. Rain chances minimal today. Let me know what you're getting in the uh, comments section. Winds out of the southeast at about 15. Highs around 86 to 87 degrees. So more fronts next week in the United States, like the one I showed you, dropping into the Gulf of Mexico and the Bahamas next week. And some of those will be near the Caribbean. Caribbean, which means that better chance of some showers. And by the way, the dust improving this weekend. I'll continue to work on that hurricane forecast for you, and I'll have that hopefully for you by next week, what we could expect and what I'm seeing overall out there in the Atlantic Basin. So that includes the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. I got my eyes on everything for you. Thank you for building this weather community. It's spreading because of people like you. I do this channel for safety. So thank you for being part of this weather community.